Hi, it's Toby, and today I'll be showing you the growing process of my monkey's tail cactus. Now, I was gonna do this video last year, but I wasn't really happy with it. But I do have some photos of this plant last year, and believe it or not, last year it was just one single tail. It started to grow down. It was initially in this hanging basket, but I had to cut the tail in half because the front got damaged by a slug, and I didn't want to risk the plant rotting in. So I cut the front part off, which is now this section, and last season it put on these three new shoots and this season it has started to grow i repot into a larger pot it has started to grow all of the segments have put around this much growth and you can see the distinct new growth starts from here and these are quite vigorous growers they can grow quite quickly and i'm very happy with this plant how it's turned out how it went from just one tail to this i will show some pictures now and you will see what the plant looked like last year so it's incredible how fast they grow and I just noticed today that we're getting a bit more tails. I don't know if you can see, I know it's moving a lot, but if you can see in there, there's two little fuzzy things right there. And there are more tails that are coming out. So that's very exciting. Pests can easily harbor inside of these crevices. It's happened to my other cactus here, which I had to cut some segments off because it got damaged. But so far, only minor damage on it, not too much to be concerned about so here's a monkey's tail update you can see this tail has grown very long now there was a bit of caterpillar damage here luckily i noticed it early and the caterpillar has only just been a tiny bit off the epidermis so the tail is not damaged too much and it can still continue to grow look at the new shoots this is what i'm saying that they grow so fast they were just tiny buds before that just came out and look at them they're already starting to elongate that's a really fast growth rate and even Looking at the other tails, you can see they've gone significantly longer. So hopefully next season, I can actually get this to bloom. Um, I'm predicting that maybe by the end of this season, these two tails will actually reach the bottom of the pot and this one will definitely hang out the bottom. And I do believe the spines, the woolly spines on top will get a bit longer. Occasionally, I just get my finger and rub out these um, dead flower buds from the tree that drop onto the plant. I don't want them building up too much because you could potentially rot your plant, but just doing little flicks like that to get rid of it shouldn't hurt the plant. You're not gonna remove any aerials by accident, but yeah. So here's another monkey's tail update. You can see the new growth is so long from where it was before. It's grown this much already since September, and I don't think it's gonna flower this season though. Um, don't think these branches are, or yeah, branches or stems, whatever you wanna call them, are mature enough. But I think next season, they will bloom. Let's look at the two new shoots that come out on the base of the plant. Look, look at them. They've already grown so much. And again, this shoot and this shoot all came out last season, something like this. So next season, by the end of next season, these two will be probably around this long and these are probably gonna go down a lot. So we'll see how this grows, but you can see it's been pruned here before, but that's barely noticeable. It's a very attractive plant and we'll see what happens with it. Here's another monkey's tail update. I did get another smaller one um, that was actually grown by seed from someone. So I think I will also document that one's growth next season. I know it's not gonna grow too much this season, but let's look at my main one. Look at how big it is. The two new shoots up here, they're growing quite nicely, but it's these older shoots that grow so quickly. You can see all of them now hang below the actual pot that it was in. If you remember at the start of the season, I think only one of them was hanging below, but now all of them are, so it's grown really, really rapidly. And I'm really happy with it. I really hope it can actually flower next season. And one thing I forgot to show you is if I bring it up close, this plant actually has spines. If you see those yellow spines in there, those are actually hard and they will prick you, but the white bristles, they're very soft and they won't hurt you. Even if you rub it the other way, they won't hurt you, but the spines will. So here's another monkey's tail update. Just growing really nicely. I did notice there is a bit of damage on the new shoot you can see in there. That's okay, it'll heal. Um, the tip is still growing, so nothing's actually gone inside the shoot and started eating it, so that's fine. It, even though it's autumn, it's still growing. Um, yesterday was quite hot. It reached around 38 degrees Celsius and it didn't seem to mind. 
the smaller plant the also didn't seem to mind i did have to rotate it a bit in the pot because one of the new shoots were hitting the side but even a plant this small grows really quickly so i'm really pleased with these monkeys tails I think if you get the chance to buy them, although they can be slightly more expensive, even for a small plant, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's just growing so much and so easy to care for that you probably will not kill it. Um, look at how long the tails are. But anyways, I think we might only get around one or two months of growing left. Probably only around one month before it stops, but it's doing really well and I'm really happy with it. So here's our final update of the monkey's tail. I've moved it upstairs just to make overwintering it a bit easier so when it rains, it doesn't get wet. I've got this new stand where I put my hanging baskets. You can see my other monkey's tail is also here. Um, I think I'll make, or actually I think I will include that in next season's video. I think I'll do these two together, but I'm very pleased with how this plant has grown this season. Um, I've been watering it less now because it's cooler, the days are shorter, and it kind of only gets direct sun in the afternoon like this, unless I move the stand out towards the front near where my pineapple plant is. And sometimes I do that if I watered the plant and it needs a bit more sun for it to dry out quicker, but it's looking quite nice. I'm really happy with how much it's grown this season. This is pretty much all new growth. This is all new growth. Um, if you remember at the start of the season, none of the tails hung below the hanging basket and now, apart from the two new ones, all of them do. So that's a lot of growth. It's a very elegant plant. It's got these nice white bristles and if you look closely, you can still see the yellow spines, which actually will hurt you if you stab your finger into it. But if you stroke it just this one direction, it wouldn't do anything to you. But very excited to see how the plant will develop next season. I think it will flower. It should be big enough to flower. If you do know someone who has a plant or if you do see these on sale, I do suggest you buy it, even though it can be a bit expensive, but it does grow really well and you can propagate a lot of them. It's not hard to care for, so it should do well for you as long as you've got a hanging basket and somewhere where you can hang it and a bright sunny spot, it will do really well for you. It's a lot less picky than some of the other cacti and if you're someone who wants to actually see your plant produce a reasonable amount of growth each year that you can actually notice, this is the plant for you. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will try and answer them. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next one. Bye.